Hi guys, uh, we are doing the deck profile uh, with Davide Gumeni, 6th place at the Foggia Regional in Italy with the Horus Bestial Resonator. Here we go. So I played the uh, Horus Bestial Resonator. Uh, it was a pretty good choice for this tournament. Uh, the deck worked really good. I picked only one time. And here we go. So. Main deck, normal summons, 3 safe art, 3 black metal for the normal summons, and the 1 red eyes. Chaos package, only 1 chaos yeah. space, thanks for army, <laughs> and 1 Levianir. No small dragons. Uh, secret, ultimate secret. No small dragons, uh, I think it's more of a break. Bestial package, 3 Lubellion, obviously. Three Saronir, three Saronir for consistency. I wanted to see it in case I didn't see Rubellion to mail it and continue comboing. Uh, Regain is just too strong in this meta. One uh, Magnamut, thanks Konami again. One Druizworm, more than one, it's kind of tricky and you want to see Saronir mostly for safer, uh, for safer tad, for safer effect. And one Regain. Some player plays uh, two Saronir and two Druizwum. What about this? Okay, Druizwum usually is stronger going second, but Saronir is just consistency. You want to see it, you want to mill uh, Lubellion, you want to combo, you want to send it with uh, Seifert to add Magnamut and send Lubellion, so it just synergizes too well with the engine. You can also pitch it with uh, Sarcophagus. For the for the Orus engine. For the Orus combo. Yeah, you can send Lubeion and start with that, so it's more consistent. Okay, come on. Trim Seti, obviously. One Must. Happy. Only one Epi. No Duamutef, no Kebesunef. He is the only brick. We are playing 41 because 40 is the deck and one is the brick. Yeah. Three Sarcophagus. Okay, so most most people play two. I'm going. I'm playing three, and I'm going to play three going forward because it's just consistency and it helps playing around draw. Draw is a very very big problem for this deck, and Sarcophagus fix it, so it's just good. Tuner package, one Ringo Worm, three Resonator, and one Crimson Gaia. Crimson Gaia is very very strong. Uh, if you combo with the Red Dragon Archfiend, you can pop a card, you can destroy a card by battle, you can reborn, you can board wipe, you can climb uh, doing doing rank 10, rank 10 synchro plays or, or link plays. It's really strong, so resonators are just insane. He only won because I am playing Foolish. Foolish. The point of Foolish is very simple. Foolish is access to a resonator if you need a tanner. To Ringo Worm if you need a double tanner, to Saronir if you need Lubellion, or Safer if you want to, re to recycle uh, Lubellion. It's just, it's basically engine. It's very strong. With this, you have basically six tanners, so you're gonna see one statistically in your hand. So it's the right uh, ratio. Never bricked on this. Really strong. And finally, hand traps. Three Ash. Mandatory. No explanation needed. Three Veiler. Veiler is really good because it's monster effects negate, but it's also light. So you can banish it with your... Uh, BCL from... In case you play against a fire deck. Two Impermanence. So the reason for two instead of three, you want to see it, but you don't want to overly see it. Because you're going to draw in the, your opponent's turn through regain. It's a dead card. If you draw this, it's, it stays in your hand. It just looks at you. And then two Super Poly. I'm playing the third one in the in the side. Good meta call. Fire King, every fire deck. Manadium. Labyrinth. <laughs> it's really good. I'm playing two because it's kind of bricky. I didn't want to go over 10 cards. I, f I feel like 10 is the, the, right, the right number. Very consistent. Okay, see extra deck. 
So for the extra, let's start with links. Obviously, striker, black metal, safer, standard. Sphere, best cast. IP and SP. No explanation needed. Most of the time I was doing IP because you can reborn uh, Magnamut with your regain. One, only one SP. Only one. Most of the time you're go not gonna use the second one because you have a really strong uh, grind game. You don't need to use a second SP. Horus just covers it uh, by itself. These are the only links I'm playing. The mandatory ones. Synchro. One actual, in case you just have one Montana, you can just go for Baron, go for this Powder Place. Two Red Dragon Ashfind, this rebound this one, if you, if you do uh, this Powder with this, Rai Gek is zero point. And comes back uh, every turn with uh, Crimson Gaia. These two are really strong, really strong extenders. Chaos Angel, no expansion needed, you just normal safer with a bestial and it's game, it's game over. This pattern, extender, interruption, you can use it uh, to, to uh, usually I use this, reborn a dragon, uh, sphere. sphere, then you can reborn it with uh, regain, it's just, it's always Use there. combo with regain. No expression no. either, Baron, it's, it's Baron. Xyz, Zombie Vampire, really, really strong. Your opponent has to answer it or you're just gonna... You have a lot, a lot of graveyard effects. It's just very efficient. Typhon, extremely good, especially against Manadium. Last round I, get, I went against Manadium without draw in the main deck. And uh, he went first. I break his board, half of his board, just by this. And then at the grand game he lost. 38, really good. In case you can just do Spear plus IP and you can extend with Horus, you, don't, you just don't go with the Zombie Vampire, you don't need it, you just go for 38. He negates a spell, attaches it, it attach a spell as material and then protects your links in battle. So your opponent just can go in battle and destroy them. Then super poly targets, one Garura, one Dragon. Standard, really good. I won against Fire King with uh, Super Poly, and uh, I threw a Super Poly at uh, Labyrinth. My side start with heavily matched. Just no explanation. I the most consistent board blaker. Then I guess set for pass. One. Uh, one Arpis Feather Duster, one Lightning Back Storm. Back row removal. Back row removal, very consistent, very useful. Three draw, I'm, I'm going to put this in main for next format. I slid in against uh, Manadium, mostly, against Dark World. Sometimes against Fire King, really depends. Three Bell, Labyrinth, just Labyrinth. Uh, I... I was I I was thinking about using it against Fire King, but but from next format you're you're better off with the other cards. And then the one offs, one uh, Druid Swarm against the matchups uh, with uh, with Light and Darks. The third Super Poly. Time, just just for time. Thank you for the profile of David Gumeni, 6th place at the regional with the 106 player. Very, very powerful. Bye!